hello everyone and welcome back to my channel we are back with some more fifa 21 next gen killer remote here with west brom this is episode 20 now and coming back of the last episode which was a loss to man city in the efl cup we did drew against chelsea in the league and ricky police scored that excellent going out win against everton if you haven't seen it yet i'll link it down below as well as the end of this video so you guys can check it out but we have played 12 games in the league now 21 points taken we're lying seven that's not too bad because it's still early on but it's very tight between eight and basically fourth we do have some tough games in this episode against Arsenal and Manchester City, I believe. So hopefully we can produce the goods. And just like always, go ahead and smash a like on this video if you want to see more West Point career mode. Subscribe if you're new. And let's get this episode going. Alright, so let's take a look at the calendar here. We do have Arsenal, then it's a Europa League game coming up, and then Manchester City. I think I will play these three games. I think we, if we win this game against Utrecht, we may have just qualified for the knockout stages of the Europa League. So I think I will... Be forced to play that even if I don't want to um, and then the next match you do have much in clock back so I think playing that game securing the round of 16 place would probably be the best thing to do I don't have to worry about it playing much in clock back although we did beat them in the first leg <laughs> why is Palmer still here 26 he's 67 overall not the best goalkeeper but we have Arsenal coming up. They're lying ninth, actually. 18 points taken from 12 games. Robinson has 17 goals from 12 games. The man is an absolute firecracker. We're playing at home, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, look at our team we have so far. Diagana, Robinson, Grant, Pereira, Val, Puig, Tavares, Ajayi, Vardio, and Frimpong. That's not a bad team. That's actually not a bad team. We'll keep that same team. That's the Arsenal team. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. I could switch to a 4-2-3-1. Maybe. Uh, but Pereira isn't really. He could play box-to-box -box Pereira. So I could switch to that and have Ricky Puig play the attack. And that's something I would try. Maybe in the Europa League game and see. But um, that's the Arsenal team. They have Mari, David Luiz, Bellerin, and Tierney as a back line. We can expose that back line. Partey is a good midfielder. Torreira, Pepe, Warlock, Martinelli, and Ubambiang. Uh, they put out a strong team, so they're going for this. And let's get this game going. The man of the moment. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live. Next. And this is the scene here four goals in three games for my man colin robinson he cannot keep out the headlines why do they have Saka on their bench i would start Saka any day of the week he's a decent decent player for arsenal he's been really good for them this season but west brom have been relegated <laughs> in real life but in this one look we're into our second season so that they survive one season we're not playing too bad if only i could take over in the real life that would be nice <laughs> all right let's get this game going it's a massive game against arsenal can we provide the goods here this game is up and running ajayi okay i don't know what pass was that Well, luck. Nicolas Pepe. Oh, already? Oh, what a save by Mandanda. No! No! Oh, Mabeyang. He draws fresh blood. Arsenal take the lead. Aubameyang with a goal. Terrible, terrible defending here. Lovely play between Aubameyang and Torreira. Good save from Steve Mandanda, but then he follows up and finishes it. That's his first goal in the Premier League. Well, we're drilling already. All right. Come on, boys. It's 17 minutes now. We've conceded early. Arsenal, for some reason, are playing like a team possessed here. Really high pressing. Four team out there. They're going for this. That's Ricky. Lovely play. Grady Diagana. Diagana gets in. We tied it. 1-1. One, one. Another assist for Ricky Puig. He's growing into a spectacular player, but take nothing away from Diagana. He still had to concentrate and finish that. Look at that true pass. He's not offside. Cuts in. So much time and space. Good shot across the body of the goalkeeper. 
And it's 1-1. Six goals for Grady Diagana. It's game up and running. Lovely pass to Ricky Puig. He can actually pick a pass. It's still Ricky. He's cutting in. Lovely pass. Robinson is in. Oh, what a save by Leno. You will bet your money on Robinson finishing that. Cross comes in. Ajayi gets in. What a cross. What a corner kick by Mateus Pereira. And Ajayi finally scores from a corner kick. The captain this season. He's also growing into a spectacular leader. Lovely cross from Pereira. He's on mark. David Luiz is nowhere to be seen. A bullet header by Ajayi. And it's 2-1 to West Brom. Game on. Cross comes in. Ajayi. Oh, there's no one there to finish it. How much time are they adding? One additional minute. Abameyang. Willick. Lovely skills. Torreira. Nicolas Pepe. Can Arsenal mount? One more attack. Referee says no. And there goes the first half whistle. 2-1 lead for West Brom as they head into the break. Not a bad performance. Since going down the goal, they've been excellent. Good save there from Madanda. Manchester United are tied with Wolves. 2-2 at the break. Liverpool are tied with Burnley. Interesting results around the league. Hopefully we can finish this game up. Let's get a next goal here. Second half is up and running. Aubameyang. Good interception there by William Cavallio. Now it's Pereira. Robinson. Ricky Bui. He could be in. It's Ricky. Get him. Ricky Puig seals it for West Brom. <laughs> he cannot help himself with the form he's on. Go against Everton in the last game. Go against Arsenal here with another assist as well. Ricky Puig wins it for West Brom. 3-1. Game on. The fans are happy. <laughs> Get in. Oh, lovely play here from Robinson. Ricky Puig takes it. No one comes close to him. But that confidence to kick that all the way to the bottom right-hand corner. Lovely finish from Ricky Puig. Joe Willick makes way for Enketia. And it's 3-1 to West Brom. Oh, Aubameyang. Skips pass. Ajayi. Pepe. Torreira. That's not really a problem. I gives it away cheaply. Lovely turn from Ricky. Oh, look at that true pass. Uh, referee blows for a full time. 3-1 victory over Arsenal. Let's go. <laughs> Get in. Arteta in the mud. That's right. That's right. You came to the Hawthorns, mate, for zero points. And they took the lead early on as well. We showed some character. Some character to get back in this game. Goals from Diaganan, Ajayi, and Ricky Puig. So, oh, Manchester United won 4-3. They cannot lose for some reason this season. Who is going to stop Manchester United from winning the league? You got to go to BC Young Boys now, Palmer. I mean, they're offering $2 million. You should be able to go. So we have two more games left, I believe, in this group. We have 10 points. We have to play this game again. Um, going to reject that. I should take him from the transfer lays as well for now. Oh, Ricky Puigo seals Arsenal's defeat. We saw that last game against Everton as well. Of course, Sawyers. So this is your game to play, Sawyers. Uh, let's take a look. We have to win. because that's, That will give us 13 points. And that should definitely see us into the next round. Um, we do have Man City coming up after this game. So, team... Oh, we are well rested. We are very well rested. We'll go with the B team. No need to um, mingle with it. So leads the line. Phillips, Snodgrass, Hopper is back in the midfield with Sawyers and Field, Townsend, Prey, O'Shea, and Frolong with Johnstone and Go. That's the Ultras team. They have a pretty decent team. But all we need here is probably a draw and we're probably fine. So we'll go with the B team, give our starters a rest, and let's see how we do in this one.
Still, there is work to do if a knockout stage place is to be theirs. Will they do the job tonight? It's live next on EA TV. One thing I forgot to do playing with this B team is I can probably do a, a 4 2 3 1. Sawyers in the field can play there. Hopper can play attacking mid. I need to. I'll make sure I train him, his development plan to play attacking mid. Sawyers. Snuggrass can play. There we go. Phillips in there. That's fine. Saul can lead the line. Uh, we do have Grant to bring in, Pereira to bring in, Ricky Puig. So that's not too bad. We'll go, we'll go with that. See how this one works out here. But all we need to do is win. And that guarantees us a place to the round of 16 of the UEFA Europa League. We're at Ivy Lane. This will be interesting. You know they're going strong. You know they're going strong, but we, uh, we have to rest players. We do have to rest players. I mean, Sawyers, Phillips, Harper is very good. We should be able to see this game out. I mean, a one goal victory would do it for me as well. So let's get this going. It's a massive game for Utrecht in their places for the Europa League knockout stages. And this game is up and running. Mahi has it. Lovely true pass. Good tackle in. Nice field. Harper has it. Fine so a youngster. Back to Hopper. It's Hopper. Oh, what a save. What a save. It's a corner kick for West Brom. Cross comes in. Headed away. Phillips keeps it in. Finds Saul, but he's tackled. Romain Sawyers. Phillips. Oh. Hopper, we need a goal before halftime here, boys. Hopper. Oh, he's offside. He's got to play that quicker. He is offside. Ah, oh, come on. That needed to go quicker there from Hopper. He was making the wrong. We just didn't trust him to get there. How much time did it add? That goes the first half whistle. Not a lot of chances created in this game. It's kind of expected if we're playing our weekend side against a very strong Utrecht side. They're going for this. They need this. Mooch and Clive back are winning 2-1. So that puts pressure on us to win this game. Um, it's very interesting. We're playing. We're not playing too bad. It's just Seoul isn't really cutting it for us at the moment. We'll give him a few more minutes here. And then we might have to bring Grant in to come and finish this job. Second half is up and running. Two minutes. Ah, oh, you know Snodgrass doesn't have those legs. How much time are they adding on? Just a minute. So this game ends. Nail, nail. Oh, wow. That was a very, very boring game. We struggled to create any sort of chance. But look, I think I think that draw still secures us the, the knockout stage. Now we have to play for who's going to top the group against Mochin Clockback. So I would take it. We didn't really create much chances in this game. Look at that. that was <laughs> such a boring game. Mochin Clockback won 3 1. Uh, I need to take a look at the group here. I need to take a look at that group now. Because that last game against Mochin Clockback could be very crucial. I think we still. We did qualify to the next stages, but we do have to finish top of the group. So there we are. We have 11 points. Mooching Clapback has 9. So all we need is another draw against them, and we secure our spot. So yeah, we do. We did book our place, and we were facing them. So basic. I mean, it's, it's done. The, the, the group is done. Uh, Mooching Clapback and West Brand will go through. Milan and Danny Mozaiker. Some of the groups are still yet to be decided. If we look at the Champions League, Liverpool and Inter, Spurs, Monaco, Leipzig are all still struggling. Diamante, Cassio, and Barcelona have dominated this group. <laughs> Man City and Lupic Nione, Leicester City and Bayern Munich. Leicester City are top of the group, with Bayern, with, which Bayern Munich are in. Absurd. Napoli, 
Dortmund. He had Arsenal. Arsenal in the Champions League. Only in FIFA. <laughs> All right. Great performance, I guess. That was very... You need to improve, Sam Field. That was terrible. Turkey. Farmer is finally sold. Look at that. Only took, what? 50 tries to get Farmer sold. All right, but we do have Man City coming up. Where are they lying? They're lying second in the league. Manchester United first with 35 points. Man City with 34 points. Those two teams are going at it. They're starting to pull away from the competition. Third is Leicester City with 28. Chelsea, 28. Spurs, 26. And we have 24. Uh, this is I hate playing against Man City. They're just way too strong. And we're playing at the empty hard. The empty hard. Um, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough, tough game. They mean to do that. I want to change my kit. There we go. We're playing that kit. That's the Man City team. They're playing the 4-3-3. Yeah, we're still we're also playing the 4-3-3 holding. I think a 4-2-3-1 might work for this game, but we'll keep the 4-3-3 for now. They have Moreno, Sterling, Mares, De Bruyne, Silva, Rodri, Sandler, and Ake. Maserati and Cancelo. We can expose that back too. Ake and Sandler. I don't know who Sandler is, but we can expose them. And stopping Sterling and Mares and De Bruyne and De Silva will be the difficult challenge for us. But let's get this game going. Stay tuned for this massive game against Man City well, as they take on West Brom at the empty hard. Surprised to see the stadium park like this. It's never this bad. <laughs> All right. I think I might have to play this defensive. Let's switch to defensive for now. We're going to try to use the same strategy we used in the EFL Cup and hopefully not crumble at the end. And this game is up and running. Moreno. De Bruyne for tackling from Ajayi. Very risky to go in like that. Come on, now he's in. Now you play him in. Can Cancelo keep up with Grant? He can't keep up with Grant. There's no one in the box. Cross comes. Oh, it's our own goal. It's our own goal. We did say we could expose that back four or that back two. And Ake, his partner, have scored on himself. <laughs> Shocking, shocking defending from Man City. That's an easy ball to clear, but it's fizzing with so much power. Look at that cross comes and he tries to cut it out. Should have just cleared it. Tries to be too cute. And he's paid for it. It's 1-0. Felipe Sandler. I don't know who that guy is, but thank you very much. It's 1-0 to West Brom. Now it's Moreno. Terrible pass. Ricky Puig, oh! <laughs> Three straight goals in the Premier League for Ricky Puig. He's riding his bicycle. Unbelievable good play here from West Brom. They have been on top. Lovely true pass. Takes a touch. And that's a lovely hit. I'm telling you, this guy is growing into a spectacular. And he has that type of player. Lovely hit with his left foot. Look at that curl on that. Away from the goalkeeper in the top right-hand corner. And it's 2-0 to West Brom at the Etihad. Rodri. Rodri. Lovely turn. Moreno. De Bruyne. For tackling from Jasko. Gives it away. Raheem Sterling makes them pay. Ah. Uh, Come on, that was a good tackle in from Jasko. I don't know why I tried to play it back to frame pong there, knowing very well that Raheem Sterling would get the jump on him. The burner had a good tackle in. And, ah, uh, Sterling. 
Sterling, and they're so clinical, this Man City side. They do not miss, ever. Game on again. It's 2-1. City are back in it. How much time are they going to add? Just a minute. We need to see We need to see out this half. Raheem Sterling. Oh, lovely one, two. Sterling is in. Good interception by Jasko. Gives it away again. De Bruyne. Ah. Uh, it's our four goal kick, and there goes the press on whistle. I wish we had a hang on and made it 2 0 at the break, but I'll take a 2 1 lead. It's been a very good game, but you know, City are going to turn up, turn up the intensity in the second half. Chelsea and Manchester United are tied 1 1. We're playing well. We're playing well. I'm keeping the same team. Hopefully, we can try and see this game out. It's 2 1. Second half is up and running. The space to open up. Cleared. Aguero has it. Lovely skills. Gives pass to Jai. De Bruyne. Back to Aguero. Bernardo Silva. City are now going for this. Aguero. Or tackle from Nuno. This is what I was talking about. Once they bring in Aguero, they start bringing in the class players. You just can't stop them. They make intelligent runs. Good tackle and it deflects back to Bernardo Silva. He lays it off to De Bruyne. And it's an easy goal. 2-2. Two -two. Who will win this game? City most likely now. They have the momentum. Go play. Oh, we're in trouble. Plays it out wide to Raheem Sterling. Go tackle in. Oh, could have kept it in. Aguero. Go tackle in. How? How does that happen? <laughs> I hear you playing against City. It always happens. Look at this. There's no way I could get close to them. Everything falls to them at this point. We have to go for this. We just have to go for this. Uh, Ferreira. We can bring you in. I mean, we up there. 78. We'll bring Phillips in. Uh, always happens to the city side. All right, I knew they were going to win this. How? Oh, uh, two additional minutes added on. And City have won it. They've come from behind. Oh, uh, come on, referee. They always do it when it hurts. Coming from behind like this. It's always nice when you win it, but... When you lose it, it really hurts. It hurts to the core. Ah, uh, that goes to four-time whistle. Ends 3-2 for Manchester City. They're just too good. We could have ended that game in the first half. We should have. Once they brought in their star players, they, it was over. The script just started to go in their favor. Ah, <gasps> uh, how many times? This is the second time this season we've blown a 2-0 lead to City. We need to get better. Chelsea drew with Manchester United, so I think City are now top of the group. Uh, the race for fourth is still on, though. It's four points, so we do have Watford coming up. Uh, let's take a look at the next episode. Should have some easy games. So, yeah, Watford, then it's Fulham, then it's Mooching Clock back. I might sim that game. I'm not sure yet. Then it's West Ham, Crystal Palace, Newcastle, Wolves before we face Liverpool. So we could go on a good run if you look at this. Again, it's a, it's a Premier League, so anything is possible. But it's looking promising. We could go on a pretty decent run. We're going to stop here for now. Try and get the next episode coming very, very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.